Welcome to the Non-Insured Health Benefits Mental Health Counseling Webinar regarding the available optional forms. This tutorial will guide mental health counseling providers who wish to submit claims to the NIHB program for providing services to NIHB clients. The Mental Health Counseling Billing Agreement Webinar offers providers further information in regards to completing the Mental Health Counseling Billing Agreement and navigating the provider's NIHB web account. Providers who have not completed the billing agreement will need to view the previously mentioned tutorial. The three optional forms within the Mental Health Counseling Enrollment Package are for providers to specify their area of expertise, alternate mailing address, and preferred method of communication, and lastly, banking information for direct deposits. By adding an alternate mailing address, providers can request general communication items to be sent to their head office or home address. Direct deposit is a convenient way to receive payments and can prevent potential delays in the event of any postal disruption or lost checks. If registered, claim payments will be deposited directly into the designated bank account every two weeks. Along with the direct deposit payments, providers can opt to go completely paperless and view the claim statements online. This is the Mental Health Counseling Area of Expertise form. This form is optional. On this form, providers have the choice to self-identify as an Indigenous person. The provider may indicate the demographic of clients they are licensed to service. In this section, the provider may indicate all areas of expertise in which the provider specializes in. If other is chosen, please indicate what it is. The provider may indicate the languages in which they can service NHB clients. The provider may also indicate whether they would like to be considered in the event there is a community crisis, if they are willing to travel, and if they have attached the resume to the area of expertise form. This is the alternate mailing address communication preference form. This form is optional. If the provider is enrolling one location using the Mental Health Counseling Billing Agreement, it is not necessary to complete Section A. Although, if the provider is enrolling multiple business locations, then Section A must be completed and indicating which location this form applies to. In Section B, providers may add a second address to their NIHB profile. If set up, providers can request general communications be sent to this address. In Section C, Providers may indicate how they wish to receive program communications, which includes newsletters, prior approval letters, and alerts. If the provider selects emails as their primary method of communication, all communications will be sent directly to their email. However, any communication items that contain personal information or personal health information, such as prior approval letters and claim return letters, will be sent via fax or email to the provider's service location. Please note, Emergency program communications will be sent by email whenever possible to avoid delays, even if the provider has selected mail as their primary method of communication. If this section is not completed, the provider's communication preferences will default to the following settings. If an email address is provided, the communication preference will default to email. If no email address is provided, but a fax number is, all communication items will be sent via fax. If neither a fax nor email is provided, then the provider's communication preference will default to mail. Language preference will default to the language of the enrollment package. Example, if the provider submits an English form, all communication items will be provided in English. Providers who wish to update their communication preference once enrolled can do so through their My Profile section in their NIHB web account, or they can use this form for modification purposes. Once the form is completed, the provider must read the authorization notice, then date and sign the form. This is the direct deposit form. The option to receive payments by direct deposit can be set up at any time and is not mandatory requirement to enroll. If the provider is enrolling one location using the Mental Health Counseling Billing Agreement, it is not necessary to complete Section A. If the provider is enrolling multiple business locations, 
the provider must complete Section A and indicate which location this form applies to. To add banking information to the provider's profile for claim payments, providers must complete all of Section B. In addition to this, providers must attach either a void check or other official bank document associated with the account they wish to add or modify. Providers who wish to update their direct deposit information once enrolled can use this form for modification purposes. To avoid committing errors, please verify the correct number sequencing for the bank number, the branch, transit number, and the account number by referring to your personal checks or contacting your bank, where they can provide the necessary information. For further clarification, please see the sample void check located in Section B. Once the form is completed, the provider must read the authorization notice, then date and sign the form. If providers require further clarification on how to upload the mental health counseling optional forms to the NIHB web account, please contact the Non-Insured Health Benefits Call Center at Express Scripts Canada at 1-888-511-4666. Thank you for viewing the NIHB Mental Health Counseling Optional Forms Tutorial.